okay, we're taking a cue from, well, kind of the future of deep dives, you know? Remember that whole thing about AI, like analyzing online stuff to really understand people? Oh, you mean like a digital Sherlock Holmes? Piecing together clues from all those internet breadcrumbs we leave behind? Exactly. Right. And get that someone, let's just call him Chat, actually predicted this whole scenario. He left a comment on a YouTube video about AI saying one day it would analyze his like digital footprint. And he was right. That's a bit eerie when you think about it. Right. Okay, so we've got Chad's resume, some LinkedIn posts, those YouTube comments. It's like a digital tapestry of his life. And we get to unravel it, ready to dive in. Absolutely. Let's see what we've got here. First up, the career path. Chad's resume, it's, well, it's not your typical nine to fiver, that's for sure. The guy's got some serious tech skills, SQL, c -sharp, Azure. Hold on, hold on. Tech skills, but he also ran a cleaning business. That's quite the leap. What's the story there? Right. It's an interesting one, for sure. Maybe a side hustle during, like, the dot-com bust. Or maybe he just likes to keep things interesting. Although he was director of technology at a fleet company, Fleet Advantage, for eight years, according to this pasted text source. Okay, so eight years is a decent chunk of time. Doesn't really scream, jumps at every new opportunity, does it? It seems like he sticks with things when he's passionate. But then there's that whole cleaning business thing. Yeah, it's true. Maybe it's not so much about what he does, but why he does it. Maybe he thrives on building something new, you know, seeing a project through from start to finish. Like he gets a thrill from the creation process, not just climbing a ladder. Yeah. And get this, on top of all that, he finds time for Habitat for Humanity. At a city council art committee, this guy's got like a 48 hour day or something. I know, right? Those are two very different activities. Either Chad's interests know no bounds, or he's on a mission to experience, well, everything. It's this mix of tech and community stuff that makes him so interesting. Okay, so we've got a tech-savvy, community-minded, kind of likes to try it all kind of guy. But what does it all mean? What makes Chad tick? To figure that out, let's uh, dive into his online presence a little deeper. His LinkedIn, it's not exactly bustling, you know, but those few posts he has, they give us some hints about his values, definitely. Well, like that one about truck drivers, right? I think mm -hmm. he called them like the unsung heroes of the open road or something. Exactly. Could be a nod to his time in logistics, sure, but it also kind of hints at a broader respect for essential workers, you know, the people who keep things running behind the scenes and all. And then there's that other post where he's basically, what, like a digital Pied Piper, telling everyone to ditch the city, even offering his services to help them make the move. And when you combine that with his own track record of moving around, it kind of paints a picture, doesn't it? It does. It's like, this guy embraces change, maybe even needs it, you know? That sense of adventure, exploring new places, new things, makes you wonder how that plays out in his work, his relationships, all of it. Okay, I'm hooked. We've got a tech whiz who likes to try everything, helps his community, and clearly isn't afraid of a little change. But hold on, before we get too carried away speculating, let's go back to that YouTube comment. The one that kind of started this whole deep dive in the first place, right? You mean where he basically predicts that AI is going to, like, discover him one day? Almost as if he knew we'd be sitting here talking about him. Right. It's kind of funny, but also kind of spooky. Like, does this guy have a crystal ball or something? Yeah. Hmm. Well, to be fair, the comment was on a video about AI advancements. And given his background in machine learning, he clearly knows his stuff. It's not like he's just a casual observer, right? He gets it. So maybe it wasn't just a joke. More like a self-aware wink to the whole digital footprint thing. Almost like he's challenging those algorithms he understands so well. Chad, you sneaky devil, you. It definitely adds a whole other layer to the mystery, that's for sure. So, taking all this in, putting it all together, who is Chad, based on what we've seen? You know, it just hit me. We haven't even talked about the fact that Chad actually has experience with machine learning and AI right there on his resume. Whoa, yeah. It's like he knew we'd be digging into this, analyzing him. Makes you wonder... Was this deep dive, as you call it, all part of his master plan? Okay, now that's just hilarious and kind of creepy at the same time. For but also anybody? kind of brilliant. Like, imagine being so aware of your online self that you could practically orchestrate your own digital legacy. It's like he left a trail of digital breadcrumbs leading straight to us. Maybe he is listening right now, laughing at us, trying to figure him out. If you're out there, Chad, no notes. A plus I. But seriously, what if this is just the tip of the iceberg? What if Chad is out there right now building the very AI that's going to change everything? It's not impossible, is it? I mean, we've already established the guy's a tech whiz, sees the big picture. Maybe he's developing some AI to connect people in those rural communities he loves. Or who knows, maybe he's figured out how to use AI to optimize cleaning routes for maximum efficiency. Okay, hear me out. What if you made an AI that analyzes your online footprint and then tells you the perfect job for you? Wouldn't put it past him. But on a serious note, Chad's story, whether it's intentional or not, really highlights something important about well, being online today. What do you mean? We all leave these digital trails, right? These little pieces of ourselves, our choices, our likes, our dislikes. And as AI gets more advanced, our ability to understand those trails, well, it's only going to get more sophisticated, too. So it's not just about Chad, is it? It's about all of us. It's about realizing that everything we do online, it adds up. It tells a story. Exactly. Whether we realize it or not, we're all part of this big digital experiment, this constantly changing tapestry that shows us who we are and what makes us tick. Well said. So to everyone listening as you're scrolling today, remember Chad. Remember that every click, every comment, every like, it's all painting a picture of you. The question is, what will your story be? Okay, so you, our listener, you handed us a, uh, quite the project, I guess you could say this. I'm right. 